All right, so in this video, I want to show you how to get started with your laser cut box. So you see a little isometric view of the box here. Uh, I've added a little hatch there to uh, kind of show you how the little finger joints are going to go together. Um, you have three uh, drawings here. So you have kind of the overview of the assembly with your object and hidden lines on it and some dimensions for you. Uh, it talks about eventually you're going to need to machine stock down. Uh, you'll be planing to 0.3 and then we're going to do use the thickness sander to get it to exactly 0.25 and that's going to be important. Uh, the finger joints for them to fit correctly have to be the exact thickness and so we'll be checking that with the caliber. Um, we're going to start with the base, um, the, the bottom and the inset for the lid. Um, just because they're the easiest, we're not going to do any offsetting on that. So in Corel, we're going to create a document that's 13 by uh, four and a half inches. And eventually you'll be machining this uh, out of a piece of pine or poplar uh, in order to do your project. So I'm going to go over to Corel and I'm going to start creating this project. I'd recommend maybe you have these drawings. These are in PDF form on Schoology. Uh, have these up on your iPad while you're working on the computer. Uh, so you can kind of work back and forth there. So I'm going over to Corel here. I am creating a uh, new part or a new, new drawing here. And this drawing is going to be 13 by uh, 4.5 inches and we are in RGB color, so I'm gonna hit OK. So you can lightly see kind of the outline of my document. Uh, I've shown you in other videos about going to uh, your options. That's also in layout and page setup, if, uh, depending on the version that you have. Um, and this is something I like to do. I like to go into background and put on a solid background just so it's a little easier to see your workspace. I usually use something that looks like, you know, light colored piece of wood. I am not printing or exporting the background. That's important. You don't want to have that burnt on there. You also want to look at your grid spacing. Right now, my grid spacing is set to four grid lines per inch, so quarter inch, and that's what we want. And we want to snap to those grid lines. So I'm going to hit OK on that. Now I have that nice background. Up here in the snap to, you probably have objects selected as well. For this project, you just want to uh, snap to document grid here. All right, right now I have um, a red line selected and I'm gonna start, we'll, we'll change that later. It doesn't really matter what color you start with. I'm gonna begin, um, if I flip back to AutoCAD here, I'm gonna begin by drawing the bottom portion. Notice I kind of started in about a quarter inch here. And I'm gonna start with a rectangle that is six inches by four inches. And then we're gonna draw these smaller little cutouts here along the way. So I'm going to start uh, just in rectangle tool and I'm going to click in that grid and I'm going to drag this. I'm looking, I'm pulling my mouse up here, I'm looking up in the top to see the size of the box that I've created. Uh, and so I'm snapping into the grid there. So right now I'm at 6.5 by 4, so I'm going to bring that back to uh, 6 by 4. That's my box size and I'll drop that right on the grid. Now, <clears throat> if you misclick there, you can always go back click on the box, you know, let's say this was 6.5. I can always go back and type in and say that it's six inches. You may have to reposition it. Uh, so right now it's at 3.25 over by 2.25 down. And that's good. That's going to line me right up on my grid space. <clears throat> so the next step here is to start to make some of these cutouts. So flip back to uh, our drawing here. We're going to draw on these little cutouts with additional rectangles just by snapping to the grid. So I'm going to start to add those in. So you want to have this drawing up on your iPad probably. Uh, so I'm just going to go in and start to draw uh, these little pieces that I am removing. So I'm going to just say, okay, this, this little bit here. Okay, now that I have all of my rectangles that I need, uh, we are going to use um, the Smart Fill uh, tool over here. So we're going to click on Smart Fill and we're going to click inside of here. So I will go to Smart Fill and I'm going to select the inside of this object. Oh, clicked on the wrong tool there, Smart Fill. And I'm going to use this to create my actual cutout. Um, over on the right hand side here, I have my object manager up. If you don't have this, there's a little plus down here. You can 
uh, open this up and you can hit the check mark for object manager that's going to be important to have up so again I'll just bring up my object manager and I can see now all the different rectangles that I drew and I also see the curve the curve is the smart fill that I just placed on there so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm actually going to delete so I'm going to click on um, I'm not going to have anything selected right now so I'm going to click on the selection tool and just click out in the background I'm going to select all of these rectangles here so I'm going to hold the shift key down and just grab every single one of those I'll just hit my delete key to get rid of that so all I have left is the curve now right now this is does not have an outline on it so this is just a fill over here where you see your colors if I right click on red I did not have my object selected so I'm going to select my object right click on red notice I have a very thin red stroke around the outside and that's what we're going to use to do our laser cutting I don't want any fill so I'm going to up here on the X here I'm going to left click to get rid of the fill on that alright now the last thing I need to do is make sure the layer is correct so right now this is 0.5 points which will not vector cut you're going to set this to hairline alright once it's hairline that's ready to go I'm going to go ahead and select this and I'm going to lock it so um, we're going to go up to edit here or object and we're going to lock this so that I can't mess that up as I'm continuing to work now the last little bit I have to do on here is just a simple rectangle so I have the inset for the lid that's going to be five and a half inches by three and a half inches uh, so we'll go back to Corel and we'll go back to the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw that in here so I'm looking up in the top left um, five and a half by three so we're going to snap in five and a half by three and a half and right there now if I want to move that down so it's centered on here I can do that so notice up here the object selected it tells me it's five and a half by three and a half the X and Y position if I want to change the Y position um, to try the 2.75 um, looks like I want it to go the other way 2.25 that's going to line it up uh, centered on my part at this point this one is ready to cut so you'd want to save this to OneDrive and then we'll pick up on the second video uh, looking at drawing the sides which are just a slightly more complex uh, with an offset tool we're going to use.